what's going on what's going on people man just wanted to get on here and talk about something controversial again no people gonna feel they type of ways or whatever but it is what it is we got to talk about it let's get into it so our police officers our police officers still our police officers hunting down black people no let's not even set ourselves up for that lie no they are not police officers are not hunting down black people. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, and I'm gonna tell the truth. So I'm getting you ready for it. That way you can gird yourself, that way you can gird you can that way you can gird yourself up. In a lot, in a lot of the major, in a lot of the major city areas, in a lot of in a lot of these neighborhoods is where a lot of black people stay. Where a lot of black people stay. And this is where a lot of the crime is going on at. And so police officers are in these areas patrolling. And this is, and it's not so much to say as they're hunting it down, but they have to patrol and keep the order and keep the peace. A lot of people ain't gonna like that, but it's the truth. I think when we start being truthful with ourselves and quit, and quit playing, when we start being truthful with ourselves and being real, then we can really see progress in America. You know, people want people want progress. You know, people want progress now, but we really, we really regressing because we're not being truthful. We're not we're not being a hundred, and we really going we really going backwards as far as degradation of a nation, as far as lawlessness is concerned. I talked about talked about this in my. Uh, the truth behind the truth behind George Floyd. If you want to know more than that, you can get into it. But we're um, we're going back. We're not going forward. When we start being truthful about situ when we start being truthful about situations, then we can really see we can really see progress. But are they hunting? Are they hunting black men down? I think I probably got pulled over maybe out of nine or twelve times. That was. That was plenty of times. I think the first eight or nine times I, I got I let off with a warning. It was finally after that that I started getting, you know, I started getting started getting tickets. But every time, every time that I did, um, every time that I did, it was just it was it was cool, it was casual. There were two instances where I was in this place and I won't name it because most people would be like, Yeah. Um But I was on the back road on my way home from work. It was like two o'clock in the morning. So I, you know, I'm ready to get off. So I'm hitting this back road. It was 40 miles per hour, I was going 60. Police officer pulled me over. My window didn't work at the time, so I couldn't let it down. So I had to open up, I had to open up the door. Well, me being mindful of who I am and where I was, and more than likely who and what, who, you know, who and what I'm dealing with, first thing I do, I open the door and I put my hands up, up and out and say, now people might say, man, it's sad, it's, it's even sad, it's even sad, it's even sad that you got, it's even sad that you got to do that. Hey, I just, I just understand what we're dealing with. I'm not even, I'm not even, not even tripping. I'm not even hurt that you might even think you might possibly, that's the thing. I can't worry about what you think about me, but I have to, I have to know what I know, know what I know and operate in that. You know, people might say, man, you know, like, man, it's sad we even got to do that. We, you know, I can't worry about, I can't worry about what they think about me. I got a wife and kids. I got a wife and kids that I got to, you know, that, um, that I have to, that I have to get, I have to get home to, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, if that would, if that would take me, that would take me at times going a little extra mile to, even, to make sure like, Hey, I, I, I get home to my babies. It is what it is. Anyway, you know, I boom, like, hey, you know, I don't, I had to open the door because my window down, you know, we come around the corner, I slow like they always do, but it was cool. And you know what? He let me off. He let me off. Um, another instance, another instance, I ain't really, I ain't really just know how to take this. I ain't really know how to take this, but it's when at the time I had a Dodge Citadel, it was fully loaded and, you know, man pulled me over and he was just like uh he asked in, in the same place same area as well um you know he seen what kind of truck came on to ask me for license registration you know and he seen he seen what kind of truck i was in and he was like oh it's a dodge city there he was like man I, i'm gonna have to see some insurance on that i'm like Burr. and could have took that many could have took that many ways but 
overall, 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 that's not for me to say. At the end of the day, my, it's, it was important for me to have insurance, point blank. Be right on, be responsible. That's the thing, be responsible. And he let me off, no ticket. But we have to, but we have to be real. We have to be real. No, they're not. No, they not. No, this isn't the sixties and the fifties. They ain't. They ain't. They ain't riding around looking. Ain't riding around looking to hunt to hunt down to hunt down black people. That's just. That's not true. Don't don't even tell your don't even tell your kids that. Now, what you do tell what you do tell what we do tell our our young men and our young women is when they pull you over to be respectful. Yes, officer. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. Whatever it might be. And it don't even matter if they don't give you respect and they coming at you and they coming at you all type of sideways. Bro, in any given any in any situation, any situation, just in any situation, be be polite. Be be kind back. Cause all that other stuff, all the other stuff can be avoided and can be thrown out the window. All that other stuff. All the other stuff, you know, any defensiveness or whatever, all this stuff can be taken care of later. But what ha but what matters in the end is who's waiting on you, your friend, your friends and family, and who's wait who's waiting on you, who's waiting on you at home. You know what I'm saying? And so in the end, you know, and in the end we have to know, we have to know how to handle situations, and we have to know how to handle situations and how to. And how to look at them, and how to overlook, and and how to overlook things. At the end of the day, end of the day, I can't, I can't, I can't be mad about how you might, how I, how I might perceive, of how I might perceive that you possibly see me. How you might be approaching the situation. I can't allow myself to become defensive and get an attitude and be ready to flip the script and just try to prove a point. It makes no sense at all whatsoever. People gonna get mad. I don't care if you're just not, you're not walking in truth though. You're not walking in truth. And this is why, this is why we are where we are at in our nation. Because again, no accountability, no truth. Um, but a lot of things, a lot of things can be avoided just when, just when respect is shown. Even when, even when one isn't giving you even when one isn't giving you respect, it says treat people how you will want to be treated. At the end of the day, if somebody's coming at you sideways, you treat this person how you will want, how you will want to be treated. Regardless, regardless of the fact, a kind word, a a a a, a kind a kind word, and it said I forgot what it, but a kind a kind word can turn can can turn harshness and bitterness up away it really can one kind one one kind word can do millions of things of what one rude sentence can a kind word can turn away can turn away wrath can turn it i think that's can turn away harsh wrath and so we just have to you know like we just have to keep that in mind and operate and operate on a higher plane you know, operate on the operate on the highest spectrum. No, they're not. No, and you know, I didn't see politicians and celebrities, and y'all might know who I'm talking about say these type of things. And I'm just like, they not hunting. If they are, they not hunting you down. No, they not because they know you. But you lying to say, oh, I feel safe, or oh, I feel unsafe coming out. Come on, man. Come on. Stop lying. Stop lying to the to the people. And quit lying to yourself. You're not probably not even lying to yourself. They just paid you to say that. You're just getting more, you're getting more money. But at the end, um, at the end, as I said, my answer to that, my you know, my answer to that is no. Majority of, majority of the time is because because an area is red is ridden of crime. It's because people because people literally just out doing stuff they ain't got no business doing, and that's really how that. How that come about? Are there some instances or situations or times where things, where things, things are racist? Of course, we not, you know, we not gonna negate that. But overall, this ain't the six, this ain't this ain't the fifties and the forties. So so quit playing yourselves as if it is. 
you feel any type of way or whatever the case might be, hit, you know, inbox, tell me what you think. Um, more con more content is coming. This, I'm, I'm standing on the verge of lines of being controversial. It is what it is. I really could care less how people feel about me and think we just got to get this truth out and we got to get, we got to get America back as a nation before things get any worse. So, man, I love y'all. Peace. Y'all be good.